We are here on page uh, Kuf He, and we're on uh, number Ayin Zayin. Now he's going to explain us, explain to us how we see in the name, I think it's the name Ekya, I forget between one day and the next, so we're getting to the concept of Rolov, that's what it is, and how it is that we develop Rolov from a name. Okay, so he wants to show us how, how we could see the concept of, of this in another way. Because here we see that there's a name Akya. Now, at this point in my learning, I'm not really sure that I understand exactly what the difference is or where Akya, that's concept of Akya is located, which is an or, I guess, in relationship to the concept of Sag which is one is masculine, one is feminine. And I don't really know the difference between them, except that they're talking about, mostly we're talking about sagas, yud ke vav ke, and here is an ekya, that's all I can recognize. So not only do you find there the the ekya in the milui of heyin, but you also have the milui of alafim. So all of the Akiyas pile into the bottom, so to speak, and and they all extend down, they pour down into the Yisod. The Nimsa should be Yisod, the Ini Yima Yesh Kol Shlosha Mini, uh, uh, Mili, Mili, Milui Akiyah. So that in the, he says, in the Yisod of Ima, you find all of these Miluyim, the three Miluyim of Akiyah. Kasa, Kama, and Kana. So he said, Let's take that one. So that you work on the tziurim of it. So this, the, what is the concept here? It's just really, really difficult for me. Is that somehow this hay is done in the, this, this, excuse me, this, Eki of, of Heim is in the bottom of uh, the Yisod of Ima. Then come in the other two Ekiyas. And now you have this big, big bundle of Ekiya. And now let's see what happens. So he says, let me just read. B'Shem Ekiya, Demilui Heim, Yesh Arba Heim. So there's four Heis there. Now you could take those Heis Kazan. And then he shows it to us. Aleph, Lamed, Fei, KK, Yud, Vav, Dali, KK. There's it. Turn up your Heims there. Ve'luha Arba Heim, Na'as, and Begimatri, and Mizbar. One sixty-eight kasach. Heinlish So we want to know how you get this, how you work that out. So he said because every time you have a k of the arba k in halalu, osimerem shlosha minitziurim. So we can work those k's and we can make them into three different types of let's say forms or formats. I'm not sure. But often should see a rishon shalah hay. So the first way we look want to look at the hay is like this. Now there's four hays, right? Hazer habetzira shall osius do a dalit and vav. Sheyachdav heim hay kazes. If you put them together, then you look like you have this little tzir he shows you here. It is a hay, but it's really a dalit and a vav. Besir sheni. So that's the first form. Now that's a ten. But tzir sheni who tzir shall osius dalit and yud. So you could do it same way. V'yachtav heim hei kazes, and they look like this. That's also a hei. But this is a gematri of 14. V'tzir shlishi hu tzirav shel shlosha vavim. So then you could also make a combination of the three. You could make it into a form like three vavim, which is a gematri of uh, 18. Echod ome biyamin v'hasheni. So one is on the right side. And then the, then the second one would be the roof of the hay. And then the other, the, the, I guess you say the short leg will be the other vav. So now they look like this. This is a hay. Now, like I said before, and I asked the question because I'm wondering about it, you see in the Matbea Bracha and other places, that these kind of formations, especially the Rishash Siddur, are around. Exactly uh, what the Rishash says that are the principle behind them, I, I, I don't know, but he's doing it. Is that why he chose to choose, he, he goes to this place, to these Hayans? Minerva Osius, Dalad Vav, Dalad Yud, and Vav, Vav, Vav. That's what you got here. 
So if you count up those letters, Olam Yachta Begematria Mab. Interesting that Mab is the force that brings things up. I'm not sure, once again, what what I get out of that. That's, that's one of the things that Mab is. Well, that's what Mab is. So now there's four A's. And you multiply four times mob. What do you get? Put it together. What do you get? Let me move things around here just a little bit. Uh, uh, let me see. Did I meet it? Uh, so, uh, so that makes you four times hey. Let's go on to number pay gimel to the top of page kuf vav. And like this. So if you take all of them together in the three different types of forms that we, we're doing here, which are Tzir uh, Rishon. So the first one will make 40. I got it now. So the four times 10 will make 40. So Hamishim Vashesh, so 56, see your basis is uh, 4 times 14. So he says, uh, so he said, Vashivim Vashtayim, it's see your gimel, the first one is 4 times 18. It makes 72. Put them together, you get the Viachad Hebe Gematria Kasach. They come to the Gematria of 168. Okay. Az yeah, So he says it again. They come to the gematria of one sixty eight. But Atan is arba And now we've explained the four hayin. What we could do with them? which are really based on the akia, which is the milui of hayin, which we saw in the previous play page. But os yud, os aleph. The Ekya, they come from Ekya. So I made little circles around it. I don't know if that helps. So he said, So he goes on, Vaos Yud, Shal Ekya, Bimilui Hayan. So let's take the Yud in Milui Hayan. Now, what does that mean? Who be Gematria Esrim? So Yud Vav Dawid is a Gematria of 20. So that Yud that exists, I guess he means in the Ekya of Hayan, is 20. So now you have 20. Vim Tisayer Es Os Dawid. But now you got to work on the Os Dawid. Should be Yud Akya, and you put that in the Yud of this Akya. So we see how he does this. Once again, the Rishus for doing something like this. Okay, fine. That those two vavs are actually make a Dawid. So there you have number twelve. The Yud in Bishem Shem Vavim Kazan. So it looks like this. So you make a Dawid out of vavs. Az Elo Hashnei Vavim Hem Gematria Shnei Maser. So the twelve. So now you get the 20, you put it together with a Dalit. So if you take, let me say it again. That's 20. To 32. Now, these interesting numbers that he comes in, when you put them together, you're putting 42 and 32 in, into the mix. So now you join the Lamed Bey, Shuhu Gematria Shel, Shuhu Gematria Shel Hayud. So you put the 32 with the 10. Let me see if I can read this again. Which, so you say the same thing, which was 168, and now you're going to add 32 onto it. So now you have the number 200. Well, what can I do with that number? So he says, so he says, then you go like this. So let's take the Allah. You form it like this. Now, there's a different ways to draw this Aleph, which we see in the Otras Chaim in the very beginning. He talks about in the Shartanto. He says, Os, os Yud, Lamala, Be'emsa, Os Vav, Abalachson. So let's, you just figure out how you form it up. So it looks like this. There's a Yud in the top and a Vav in the diagonal, which is the number uh, 16. And then you add four down below because you made that bottom one into a dalit. You had the number twenty. Hamin nemsiki os yud de ekia de hein ole bigematria esrim. So now we see that it comes to the gematria of twenty. 
V'sitzayer es a yud shabaos olive shal akis. So now you take the yud, you form it up like that. Kamo seir hayud that we're just talking about shal she akia b'milu hein. The chayin that should tehe ha olive de akia more keves baos yis yud vav dal. Now take that. That's a twenty. Shehem olim esrim and come to the gematria twenty. So you're going to add this is going to be the olive that you're going to use. In the, in the name Akia. So you, first you use the first, the four Hays. Now you're going to take the Aleph. So the Aleph is going to be a 20. So you get the, this is going to get you a number 220. So you put the Dalad like that. Shehem Olim Shtaim Esre. They come, that is, they're, they're 12. But Titsarif Esrim Im Shtaim Esre. But Timsa, and you'll find like this that you're back to Lamed Base again. Shehem Esrim Im Shtaim Esre. So, uh, so, so this is twenty with twelve, uh, and the im im shtayim is sarach and niskarim. But the chaber es ha arba heyin b'tzir hanal, which is kasach, im hayud shuhu lamed beis. But yachtav heim kumis bar reish. They come to reish. He's reviewing now. And mechabrim es a reish and niskarim im alamed beis shall os alaf. You can make the alaf into a lamed beis, and he said the ekia the heyin. Behem Ralev, that's Ralev. So you could go that route and make a Ralev that way too. So what's he trying to tell me? That the Ekia, what is he trying to tell me? That the Ekia, the bottom one, is full of Bracha. Because it's what it is. Venimsa she Ekia de Milui Heyen Oisim Misper Ralev, so it makes that count Ralev. Now you got all the, the first part of the, uh, you've got the Hayes, you've got the Aleph, and you got the Yud. Let's see what else we have in the law, in, in the rather lal aleph, excuse me, that you have to work on the other letters. And so once we took that aleph, so you took the aleph, you took the hayes, now you have the letters lamed and fe. Shehem osios hamilui the aleph the ekia the heyin. So what are they? The letters, the last two letters of the of the aleph of the ekia. For os aleph nis nis manta rak nis mana mansa rak bebechinas hatsir. So you just count it uh, as its as itself. So you don't get into the gematria of what you could do with an aleph. You just take it. It's a one. So you take the aleph. With its milui. Put those together. So now you have the letter aleph by itself. And you combine it with the word. With the other two letters. Which are pe and lamed. Of the aleph, for ha aleph shows the osecho him pelas and it makes pelas. Romes al yisod the abba. This is the name. This is a remez to the yisod of abba. Shuhu sod hashvil hadokik hanikra pelak, which is that this shvil hadokik, which he's called it. And uh, uh, I guess we saw it in the in the idra that it was referred to as a shvil. Here he says it's a shvil dokik, which has another a name of itself called pelak. Okay, so what do we get out of this? I mean, it's exactly what do we learn here? Is this learn at the bottom? Just going over what he said, the general idea is the bottom of the of the Yisod of Ima, Abina, has these three Ekias that pile into it. We take the Ekia of Hayan apart, and we find out that we can build out of the bottom one of the, uh, of the Ekias. We can build the concept of of Ralph. But besides that, there's two other letters that we didn't know what to do with it. And put them together, those two other letters, with the Aleph itself, you get the word Pella. That's a little bit hard, but that's what it was. Okay.